بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now in this video we'll talk about some of the basics of network security like the importance of network security and then we'll try to understand some of the terminologies relating to the network security So let's get started with uh, network security first Now any network security is important because if you don't properly secure your network it may lead to lead to some of the risk which involves uh, which can be leading to some financial legal or political issues or also it can also lead to some data loss like uh, generally you you see some attacks happening on the internet where attacker tries to enter into your network or maybe some kind of malicious codes or malicious traffic which can impact the performance of your network so as a network engineer it is our job to ensure that the network is uh, secured as much as you can so in this section we'll we'll try to understand some of the basic terminologies what we use when when it comes to network security like the first one is like asset asset is nothing but what exactly you want to secure so which is a uh, valuable to your organization and this will be varying depending upon each and every individual organizations like Uh, like it can be relating to some property documents uh, maybe if you if you, if you take a personal example maybe your corporate property documents or information about the people or information or the data uh, that that adds value to the company so it can be a uh, company records or maybe some client information or some kind of proprietary software what you have prepared and so on okay so you need to make sure that Uh, you actually secure your assets so that is like uh, the valuable uh, valuable thing which you want to secure uh, vulnerability vulnerability is a term used to define a possible weakness in your network and based on that weakness attacker may introduce some kind of uh, attacks like like an example if you take a protocol weakness you are using some kind of protocol and attacker can can actually exploit or or uh, based on that protocols he can he can introduce some attacks in the future like one one example is let's say uh, maybe you are using a telnet protocol for accessing the remote device but telnet is actually in a clear text so so if you are using any kind of remote sessions by using telnet attacker can actually capture your traffic as entire information goes in a clear text and he can get the username and the password and he can he can see the password or maybe some kind of uh, weakness or vulnerabilities in your operating systems like maybe you are using some old windows operating system uh, and that has some uh, that has some issues uh, maybe some maybe some kind of vulnerabilities in that and you don't have any updated security uh, updated patches installed in that an attacker will come to know what exactly uh, os you are using and if he, if he comes to know some specific vulnerabilities in that uh in that operating system he can use that to to introduce some kind of attacks in the future so other possibilities like applications what we are using or uh, maybe some kind of design issues if you if you don't properly design your network as per the security uh, implications so probably that that can also lead to the, some kind of attacks in the future so other other terminologies like threat threat is like an event which can cause damage to your systems or attacker may use some existing vulnerabilities in your network and introduce some kind of attack that that that's what we call as threat and the threats can be physical like you you have some fire or some some water or earthquake kind of things which which cannot be avoided or maybe some kind of malicious codes like you you are trying to access some website a user in my company is trying to access some website and he goes to the website and he access some contents probably that that add some malicious codes into your computer and then it's it's going to spread on the network and based on that attacker can introduce some some attacks uh, these are the possible threats or any kind of other attacks like phishing and social engineering attacks uh, we'll talk about more in detail the different possible attacks in the in the coming topics anyways now the risk risk is like a probability of threat uh potential uh threat probability of the threat which can happen or or the event to happen 
like a user is trying like maybe an unauthorized access to the asset like maybe my user who belongs to the sales department is trying to access some resources on the accounts or maybe he's trying to access or, uh, or introduce some kind of attack which is going to uh, make my network down okay so the risk is nothing but it, it can be a potential to compromise your assets or unauthorized access to the assets or maybe it can also damage the asset like uh, completely delete the files something like that now again the countermeasure is a term used to define what appropriate action you are going to take to overcome this a uh, possible threats or risk so it's nothing but a safeguard feature safeguard or the mitigations we also call it as how exactly we 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 overcome these possible threats and attacks or uh, reducing or eliminating the possible vulnerability or the potential risk